hi everyone mm, today we will be discussing about the frame so in the frame basically the frame uh, are of two types F first is the frame chassis or the conventional chassis second is the frameless chassis or the non conventional chassis so basically we will be discussing one by one so first of all the frame chassis or the conventional chassis so look at this uh, this is a framed chassis frame chassis means this is a type of uh, ladder unit you can see and the body is uh, connected to this means uh, in the frame chassis or conventional chassis body is made up of separate parts okay the body is the different various body parts which are going to means uh, submerged or apl uh, applied here applied on this frame are um, uh, differently means attached to this uh, ladder unit okay body is made up of uh, separate parts and then joined with the ladder unit okay so uh, basically i have drawn this uh, so you will be easily able to understand the frame how the frame chassis look and how the frame less chassis looks okay now i will be discussing the advantages advantages are is the, it has the high load capacity and the strength so basically this um, frame chassis this the frame is uh, highly strong and it has a lot of strength also so it has a, a very large amount of weight carrying capacity okay and the disadvantages is are uh, that it is a heavy weight means due to uh, as the material is uh, so heavy and it is having a large amount of strength so basically uh, the weight will be increased and due to weight when the weight is increased the less fuel economy means the fuel consumption will be more due to the weight okay body tends to vibrate easily because as uh, this is not a means a full means whole suppose use uh, say any truck it is not made up of means uh, only one structure or unit so on this frame the other body parts are attached so there are the chances of the vibrations and all after some sometimes so as you have means uh, noticed when the bus is means old the bus be uh, becomes or uh, bus becomes old or uh, then the uh, parts in the buses uh, tends to vibrate shake and they creates noise okay so basically this is due to that they are separately joined it is not a one unit so basically uh, body tends to vibrate that's why only and the applications where this frame chassis or the conventional chassis is used they are used in the trucks buses and in suv cars and bigger vehicles okay bigger vehicles because in this all trucks bus uh, load capacity is too high okay so uh, for because we need their strength so for strength we use this type of chassis okay now i will be discussing the mm, non conventional or frameless chassis okay non conventional or frameless chassis means uh, there is no ladder frame is uh, ladder frame is available here uh, ladder frame is absent in this and and the whole unit is combined means whole unit is one only body is also the same and body itself act as a frame okay here the body itself act as a frame and all the means uh, support supportive parts such as uh, engine transmission steering system suspension system all are attached to this um, uh, frame only okay so there you as in uh, frame chassis you need to means uh, separately joint uh, other parts or body parts so here you don't need that you just need uh, to this uh, frame only you just need to attach the various parts okay so um, basically that's why um, uh, uh, as there is in this case the uh, vibration and all will be less because um the whole unit is one only made up of one uh, one only and no separate joints are there okay so what are the advantages we will be discussing now advantages are that it is lightweight better handling okay handling is better huh? what are the disadvantages disadvantages are 
पावर एंड स्ट्रेंथ ओके सो दिस इज द फ्रेमलेस चासी और नॉन कन्वेंशनल चासी आर मेड अप ऑफ लाइट वेट मटेरियल्स ओके सो बेसिकली ड्यू टू लाइट वेट मटेरियल मीन्स लाइट वेट ड्यू टू लाइट वेट द मीन्स पावर एंड स्ट्रेंथ विल बी रिड्यूस सो दैट्स वाई दिस आर नॉट यूज इन द ट्रक्स एंड बसेस दिस टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रेम लेस कंस्ट्रक्शन इज नॉट डन इन बसेस एंड ऑल ओके the repair cost is also more because uh, here is no separate unit is there if uh, if any part gets means uh, crashed or means accident is uh, is occurred then what happens it affects the other parts also so repair cost is more okay and topless cars are difficult to design so suppose this we want to remove the top so what will happen this means strength will lose means uh, design is very co uh, complicated and uh, because uh, this act this is a whole unit only okay so suppose we remove this top then what will happen the uh, force transmission or the strength which will uh, which now is getting due to the top uh, so that will be reduced uh, so that's why means it is very much uh, so much um, uh, efforts are required to design a topless car okay. or now i will be uh, fastly discussing discussing the applications it is used in the hatchback and sedan cars okay hope you all have understood what i have discussed so basically this is the frame chassis and this is the frameless chassis frame chassis uh, is of some kind of ladder type and this is a whole unit means and the various parts are attached to this only but here separately you have to means all the body parts need to be attached so this basically i have uh, what we all discussed i have uh, now discussed in very quickly so hope you will like this if you have any comment or uh, any problem so write in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe me Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.